KuCoin has four trading bots as of making this video and I'm gonna show you how to get started using them and what type of trades you can actually make. You can use a couple of the bots to actually make investing much easier or the other two actually let you take advantage of trading volatility where you just couldn't trade like that without an automated bot helping you out. Each bot is listed as a timestamp in the video description and if you haven't got KuCoin yet, the link is down there for you to go and sign up. You only need an email account for now don't need any KYC information for the time being, although that may change. But follow that link to see what deals and sign up offers they may have at the current time because they usually have something. So yeah, go to kucoin.com. You can also download the app, just click that link. You can see at the moment they actually have $500 in bonuses, but that may change. Then you're gonna come through once you've signed up. And if you don't know how to sign up, I'll leave that beginner's guide in the description. It'll get you set up on the platform. The first thing that you need to do once you're all set up is actually get some money from your main account uh, right here into your trading account. So just press transfer there once you've deposited some funds um, and then transfer it into your trading account. Um, and that will go through to the bots. They need that money in the trading account. That's a free internal transfer. Uh, then come up here to trade um, and then you can see trading bot right here. So we're going to go through to this page. At the moment, they've actually added some functionality um, to the platform, but you can do all of this on the application as well. So depending on which one you want to do, you can actually go ahead and do that. Um, what we're going to do is just very quickly go through the bots right now. So we have spot grid and we have futures grid. These are the same. Um, spot means cash settled and futures is a synthetic contract. Futures actually lets you leverage up if you want to do that. That's for slightly more advanced traders. You also get slightly lower fees and the spot grid, slightly lower risk um, and you're just putting cash up there to basically trade. Then you have smart rebalance, um, which is a really great bot actually and I'll show you that. And then DCA, which is dollar cost averaging, just makes it really easy for you to invest uh, in some cryptos over the long term. The first bot we're going to do is actually the dollar cost averaging bot. You still need to do this on the app only. This isn't on the platform. They may add this feature in by the time you're watching this video. Um, so we'll just go over to the uh, phone and then we can go through this. So just come to trading bot in the middle of the screen. You'll, you'll be able to find it. Um, and then what we need to do is um, go down to DCA. So I'm just going to click on this one down at the bottom, DCA. Um, you can see more profits from regularly investing. So yeah, it's an efficient investment um, and it's a long-term strategy. So dollar cost averaging is very simply just um, choosing an amount you want to invest over time and then choosing the time scale um, and how often you invest. So what we're going to do is um, just go to the first one because that just makes it easy. So Arca USD, so you can do that. You can actually choose um, any of these. So you can go down and you know find any of the supported cryptos on the platform, uh, whatever you want to do. Let's actually do AXS and we'll do next. Now you have to choose how much you, you want to invest and how often you want to invest. Um, so this is really a long-term strategy of saying, yeah, I want to put $10 in every week or something like that. So amount per investment, you can uh, choose this, you know, really easy slider to see how much you want to invest. Um, so we'll just click on uh, this one, we'll click 10 bucks like this, press OK, confirm. Um, and then how often do you want to invest? So every day or every week or whatever, you can choose this. So let's choose every three days, uh, every two days. And then time of first investment, either now or maybe sometime in the future. We'll just go through next as well. Um, and then what you can see here is max profit rate, 50% or 500%. So according to the historical data, it will cost... Uh, two months to realize your target. So essentially the price, what the price has done in the past, I wouldn't really pay too much attention to that because obviously what happens in the past isn't a good indicator of what will happen in the future. But very simply, this bot just lets you put in an amount of money at a regular interval over time. So if you're looking to you know, grow an investment in a certain crypto, just put money on the platform and then you can do that over time. The first bot I'm going to come to is Spot Grid. And actually, there's two types of this bot on KuCoin. One is Spot and one is Futures. Like I said, Futures allows you to go short um, and it also allows you to leverage up if you want to do that. We're going to focus on Spot Grid initially. I'll, to I'll tell you what a Spot Grid is um, or a grid is. And then we can do that with the Spot Market, which is cash settled. So a little bit less risky than Futures. So there's two types, right? You can have AI parameters or customize. So customize, you can customize everything. AI is pretty much gonna do it for you. First thing you can do is choose a currency pair. You can choose any currency pair supported on KuCoin, which is yeah, pretty much more than anyone could need. So we'll, we'll stick on Bitcoin. Um, then what we can see is the price range for the grid. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is actually kind of tell you how a grid works, right? So let's say this is a price chart and you can see the grid right here. So we have 100 at the top, 94 at the bottom, could be any price, right? So what a grid bot is going to do is essentially start you off at different prices um, and put buy orders um, kind of coming down, like ratcheting down buy orders, right? So let's say that um, the price actually moves. So for example, the price starts around 98, you're going to buy some. Uh, then the price comes down to 97 and you're going to buy some more. And then the price comes down to 95 and you're going to buy some more. So the way that the grid bot works is also putting in sell orders above that as well, right? So um, at some intervals as well, you're going to sell. So let's say there's some, uh, the, the crypto you buy at 95, it's going to sell that over at uh, like 96, let's say, for example, something like that, right? Um, and then obviously if the price moves up again, these, the, the crypto you bought at 97, it's going to sell at, you know, 97 and a half. The crypto you bought at 98, it's going to sell at 98 and a half or 99. Now, what happens obviously is as you come down again, it's going to refresh all of your buy orders, right? So if the price comes down to like 98 again, you're going to buy some more and you're going to buy some more and you're going to buy some more and then it moves up and sell, sell, sell. So it's just going to continually put in buy and sell orders at different levels. Um, so what you're doing is actually... Um, taking advantage of volatility. So the bot is gonna be there, just go buy, sell, buy, sell the whole time when there's volatility moving up and down. It's something you can't do as an individual, right? So um, the way that you set the grid up is, is to take advantage of volatility. Here's the thing you need to know about grids. Um, if, a, if it trades in a price range, you're gonna to make tons of money because all you're doing is just buying and selling volatility like this up and down all day long, like printing money. You can still lose money if the price falls and doesn't go up again. If the price goes up, you're gonna you're gonna make money because this is a long bot, right? So you're 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 going long, so you're buying, and then obviously the price has to move up to sell. If it goes down again, you buy, and then you're gonna have it's gonna have to move up again to sell them. Um, what can happen if the price moves down a lot is you're just gonna get filled and buy a load of crypto. That's not necessarily bad, but obviously you're gonna have a ton of crypto that you, you can't sell. But what happens again is if the price falls a lot and then it trades in another range, um, you're gonna be obviously making money in that range as well. So um, as long as you run this grid and there's some volatility that you can trade, um, then it should be printing money. If the price falls a lot, you're gonna basically um, buy a load of crypto that you can't sell for a while. Um, so it may look like you've actually lost a bit of money, but then again, if it, if it trades again through volatility, you'll be starting to earn money again. So that's exactly how it works. Um, so what we can do here is the price range. I would suggest quite a wide price range, like it says here, 34 to 64, and then the number of orders placed to 100. These are grids, right? So the more grids you have, the, the closer they are together. And you can see that the profit uh, per grid is 0.3 to 0.69%. May not sound a lot, but when you're trading like this, um, it's obviously just money printing over time. If you reduce the amount of grids, um, then the, the space between them is higher and you need much bigger moves to actually um, complete a grid. A completed grid is when you buy and sell that grid. So how much do you want to invest? You know, you can put this in and just create it, wait a while for it to go through. You can also go and customize this and have everything yourself. So you can choose the high and low price, you know, the very, the very edges of the grid that you want to trade and how many orders that you want to place within, you know, your parameters, your price range. I've tried it with just two grids and it doesn't work because you, you just buy it and then you have to wait for massive volatility to sell a lot higher. So I would put in at least kind of 50 grids and actually just start making, um, you know, completing grids and making those profits. Uh, the total investment here you can see. So that is really a spot grid and how it works. Spot grid means that it's cash settled, so you can't leverage up, you can't do anything like that. The second way you can trade a grid is a futures grid, right? So it's exactly the same thing, but we're trading futures instead. And there's a couple of pros and cons to that. We'll click create bot. What you can do with futures is actually leverage up your positions. So let's say you have $1,000, you can leverage that up 2X. You can see this 2X right here. So you can actually open $2,000 worth of positions. Um, the pro of, of that is that, you know, any profits that you make are gonna be amplified times two. The downside is that if the price moves against you and you've bought a load um, and it keeps going down, you're gonna get wiped out a lot quicker. Um, AI parameter is exactly the same right here. The other benefit of a futures grid is that you can go long or short. You can have a bias for one of the other. Do you wanna go long? Meaning that the, the grid bot is going to have a bias towards buying first and then selling a bit higher. 
Or do you think the price is going to come off and say you want to have a short bias and it will bias shorting first, selling and then buying lower than that? So um, you, you can choose one of those uh, dependent on where you think the price of Bitcoin may go over the period that you want to have the bot. Um, just put an amount in here. Um, whatever you want. And then with futures, you can see additional settings, totally optional, but there's just some risk management in here. The first one is stop price. This is a stop loss. So let's say you go long um, and you've bought a load, but then the price keeps moving down and you think, okay, I want to stop my losses. Maybe I'm, I'm losing money. I want to stop losses if it goes a lot lower. So you can see the price range here is 41,908. That's the bottom range of the bot. Um, let's say 40,000, you can put your stop loss in. You can't put it higher than the price range. What this means essentially is that if you've come in, let's say at 50,000, which is somewhere in the middle of the bot, and then it moves down and you, you, you've been filled, so you've bought a load, but it hasn't moved up, so now you've got a load of you know Bitcoin and it keeps moving down against you and you're kind of losing a lot of money right now. You can actually put that stop loss in to say, hey, look, I've lost money. Uh, just get me out of my positions at a loss and just you know, pre prevent further losses. So that's your stop price. Can't be above the bottom of the grid because that's still within your grid. Take profit is the same to the upside. If you've bought in at 50, you've just sold everything. Um, and then it keeps moving up. You can just take your profits, kind of get out all of your positions and sell them all, and then just take that profit and maybe go onto a new grid. Entry price right here, as you can see, you can actually um, kind of sit, set the initial entry price that you want to go long at, um, which is you know quite good. You say, well, it's trading at 50 now. I want the bot running, but I don't want to get long until it's towards the bottom of the range and then to sell at the higher end of the range. Um, so you can actually customize everything here as well. Same as the uh, the spot grid trading. So you can ch uh, choose the price range and everything like that. So for futures, um, you can leverage. You can also go short. Um, and you do have to pay some funding with futures as well that will take a little bit of money out of your profits, um, but it won't be a lot. Um, and actually trading fees are a little bit cheaper on the futures grid as well. The next bot is Smart Rebalance. This is great for long-term investors as well. If you want to set up a crypto portfolio, um, maybe exposure to DeFi, maybe exposure to Metaverse, something like that. Maybe you just want to copy um, some other professional firm's um, crypto portfolio that they say that they have. You can do that all in Smart Rebalance. So what this does is essentially let you create a portfolio with uh, percentages of each crypto. So this is great for long-term investors that want exposure to a space and you don't want to kind of keep uh, managing it managing it yourself. So what's actually really good about uh, 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 cryptos, uh, KuCoin, sorry, is that um, it gives you a ton of different sectors and a, a ton of different portfolios that you can just basically get into yourself. So you can see a metaverse all-star. Um, so let's just do an intro to this and it will show us all of the cryptos that they have in here um, and the percentages of them. So metaverse cryptos, these are some great cryptos that I would um, want exposure to as well. So you can see Engine Coin, Alluvium, Sandbox, um, Yield Guild, Axie. Um, so you can basically just get exposure to them all um, in the percentage that you want. So let's go ahead and create now and it, it will actually show you exactly how much of each coin it puts into um, this particular portfolio. So Engine Coin, and you can definitely come and change this to you know, any crypto on the platform. I'm happy with Engine Coin right here. And then you can just change the you know, percentage of each. So let's say you don't want as much Engine Coin, you want a little bit more Sandbox, you can do that and that's 100%. So um, what this will do is keep these cryptos more or less in the percentages that you want in your portfolio. So if one moons, um, what it's gonna do is just sell, sell into strength um, and then maybe put some of that money into the other cryptos that are underperforming. So let's see how you do that. You can add coins here. You can obviously press X to take them away. Um, and then how much do you actually want to invest um, into this? And what's going to happen uh, down here as well? This is really important. So auto rebalance. So we're going to click on this and you can see the auto rebalance. So Let's say engine coin goes from 13% and it, it moons up and, and now it's like 15% of your portfolio. So it's kind of a bit larger than you wanted it. It's gonna rebalance it for you. How much you know, do you wanna rebalance, right? So 1% or 5%. Um, basically what that means is that you know, if it moves up and it's actually 3% higher in terms of its uh, percentage, at what point do you want the bot to start selling it? So you can choose that. 
I would personally uh, not put 1%. Um, it's just going to trade too much for you. It's going to be too active. And you don't, I, I, I don't anyway want to really actively trade out of portfolios like that. So maybe 3%, something like that. And then a rebalance time. Again, I, I wouldn't choose 30 minutes because the, the bot is just going to be trading every 30 minutes, which is, you know, way too short of a time uh, time schedule, especially for a portfolio that really just has to kind of run its course. Um, so you may want to trade, you know, every two weeks, maybe even every month and just rebalance every month. That, that gives the portfolio time to kind of grow. Um, so you can choose that, just going to press confirm. Stop loss by ratio. Um, so if, um, you know, any of the cryptos really is just losing, you know, and just isn't performing very well, you can auto sell or notify, but do not sell, right? So if engine coin drops 20% or something like this, or 15%, um, then you can have, you know, a, a notification saying, hey, look, you, you might want to kind of rebalance, you might want to sell out, stop losses, or, you know, you might want to buy some more, right? So um, you can actually just have a notify, but do not sell. Uh, or if you just, just think, no, I need to sell out, you can do that. So just create that. And that will go ahead and buy all of those um, cryptos for you in that portfolio and keep it there. You can also create your own. So come up to customize and you can create absolutely anything that you want. So if you see a portfolio that someone has and you want to, um, you know, replicate it, you can do that all there. Um, so smart re rebalance is great for kind of long-term investing, buying and holding and having a portfolio of uh, exposure to a certain sector. So that is crypto bot trading on KuCoin, one of the best platforms I would say for putting together a bunch of different bots. If you want to sign up for KuCoin, you can do that via the link below. You don't need KYC right now, so just your email. Um, and if you want to know how to get set up on KuCoin, that video is in the description as well. I'm James with Money ZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.